Hey, hey, it's around here. I wanted to do a tutorial to show you about the frequently asked questions element in system.io. So I'm creating an FAQ page on my website because I get a lot of questions from people and I wanted to start documenting it and being, being a bit more strategic about it. And so I wanted to show you a little bit about how creating a element like that is going to be helpful to you. So you'll see here, if you scroll down, you will notice that there is this thing on the left, this element called FAQ. And you can drag it in like so, and you will be able to see if there is, it says FAQ. And if you click here or click anywhere for that matter, you'll be able to add items and continue to add items as you go. Now here you can actually switch them around. So you can actually bring this up and bring this down as you see fit. You can also organize things. So when you click on it, you can choose the space between the items. For example, you can make this. So you'll notice as I click this, you will notice there's more white space between them. You can also do it at zero and then there is no spaces between them. Another thing is that if you were to do spaces between them, you could see there's the rounded corners. Right now you will see there is five. Now I could do it at zero and you will see there's no rounded corners. I could also do it and just move this over and make it say 20 and you see it's way more rounded as well, which is gonna be funny if for example, there is no spaces like that. But if I was to do it this way, then you will see it kind of looks okay because it's all in the same spot, right? So that looks cool. And then you've got other, other little things that you can do. So for example, you can see the opened state. So you've got this looking up. So this is open. And in this one, when it's looking down as well, so you can display the drop down icons and you can do this one. So Chevron, let's just scroll down like this. And then let's do another one and we'll do it going up that way. Okay. And now you will notice that if I was to display these, you will see it looks different here on the up or down. Now I can choose not to show them at all and that's okay as well, but that's something that's an optional thing that you can do. Now you can choose the font and in the font, you can make it so it's going to be the font for this. Note that once I actually add different content, for example, this text, I add the text here, this text, I can actually make this text different. So let's just say I want this to be railway as an example, okay? Now the text railway is going to be different than this text of the FAQ. So this font right here is going to be different to what you see inside the FAQ. So that's something that's customizable. You can choose if you want to have two different fonts, if you, if you want to do it that way. In my case, my font is Poppins. So I'm just going to leave everything as Poppins, but I just wanted to show you that option is available. Now, when you're looking at customizing the text and the information as well, note that you can actually add more things below here. So let me just give an example of a question. So I'm going to pick this FAQ right here and I'm going to say, how can I get access to your Facebook organic mini course? And this is a question I just received in an email from somebody and therefore I'm going to show how I'm going to answer that particular question. So first of all, I'm going to drag the different text. I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to say this question came through email in response to me announcing an upgrade to this course. What is the Facebook organic mini course? And then I'm going to now do something else. So first of all, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add two columns in here. Okay. Now in the two columns, I'm going to do, for example, an image like so, and then I'm going to drag a, a select a file. Now this file is going to be, let me find the Facebook organic. Okay. So you see here the Facebook organic mini course product mockup. I'm going to drag it in, paste it here. And here it is, right? What is the Facebook organic mini course? And then I'm going to put bullets in the bullets. I'm going to make it 10 on the spacing. I'm going to choose this color. And then I'm going to say how to find customers in other people's Facebook groups, how to attract your ideal customer or how to find groups that are worth while engaging in how to add value and stand out in other people's groups, how to optimize your Facebook profile. So it encourages people to reach out to you 
Okay, so now I've done that. Now you'll notice this is all inside an FAQ, right? Now I'm gonna do the next thing, which is gonna be a row under it. And I'm going to now say, the Facebook organic mini course is available in two ways at the moment. Option one, sign up for the tech support membership and get access to the course, actually three ways, as part of the membership. Okay, option two, get access for 30 days for free as a bonus when you join the templates and guides membership. Okay, option three, buy the list builder bundle on the second upsell when purchasing my beginner's guide to email marketing. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three columns, right? I usually, like I'm just showing you an example of answering an, an FAQ, but more importantly, how to utilize the FAQ and see the different features. I'm just giving you different ideas of things that you can do. So now I've got three options that I can put here and I'm gonna do basically three different buttons. So in this case, I'm just going to find a button and don't worry about the customization of the background color and all that. I'll show you how to do all of that very soon. Okay, so let's grab a button, let's say this one. And I'm going to say option one. And then I'm going to delete this and put the icons. So it's going to be a link like so. And then I'm going to make that also with a hard shadow. I like to do hard shadow on my buttons. And then the link is going to be this one and open in a new window. Okay. So that's one way. Now I'm going to duplicate that, put it here. And then option two is going to be access to the templates and guides membership. Okay. So around templates.com membership, open in a new window. And this is option number two. Now in this case, I'm also going to change the color for this. And then let's do another one. Option number three. And in this one, I'm going to change the color again. I'll make that red. And then in this one, I'm going to grab a round dot link email guide. Okay. Cool. All right. So now I've got this. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a video right here and I'm going to add a video. Now in the video, I'm also going to give it a bit of spacing. So I'll do something like this 40 like so. And now I've got a really extensive FAQ. Now I'm going to grab a video. I'm just going to put a, a placeholder for right this second. Controls on, not autoplay. Okay, and then this is just one example of an FAQ. Now let's customize this a bit further. So you'll notice that first of all, you see the background is this color. That's not necessarily my brand color. So I might want to make this a little bit different. So for example, in my case, I might grab this color. And then you'll notice that I'm going to customize it. So it's got this brand in the background. Okay. Now the icon, this icon, for example, I might want it to be different as well. So I'm going to change the icon color and make it orange like so. Now you see that this is now orange right here. Now you'll notice also that the font text, this one, the question is actually smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this two things. Number one, I'll make it 20, but also what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make this so it's bold as well. Okay. That way it stands out from the rest of it. Now I can also change it. So the color also is orange as well. Again, that's all optional, how you want to do things. I can, I can do that. Um, yeah, that's okay. And I'll make the text a bit bigger, just like so 22, the text here is 20, the text here is 20. Okay. That's good. And I got to replace the video. Now, what will this look like on the other side? Now that I've done all of this little fancy stuff. Okay. This is what it looks like on an FAQ. So when you click on this, you'll see that it will open up like so. And you see this FAQ is answered. Now here, I didn't answer anything. So you don't see anything. You don't see anything. You don't see anything because I didn't answer anything. But this here, I did answer and I gave a bit of an example, a bit of information about it as well. So 
this is just a good way to set up an FAQ, which to me, it's just a brilliant feature that System.io has because it's really highly customizable. Now, again, I'm gonna give this as a bit of space on the top as well, I think that's important. And here I'll do 30 on all sides, actually. Again, 30 on all sides as well, just to give it a bit more spacing. And yeah, I'm happy with that, okay? Now, what you wanna do is now you've got the second question, okay? Now, the second question is this one. So this question now, let me just scroll up. I need to now fill in the details and do the same thing. So how does that work? I can then go here, paste it here, like so. And to make it consistent, I'll make it 30. And then I'll begin my answer, okay? So I'll pick up the next question. So the next question that I received from somebody was, how come the bonuses in the templates membership expire after 30 days? That was the question, okay? So now I'm going to now answer this, right? This question came in an email reply from someone on my list and I thought it was a great question that I wanted to answer with my thought process, but also give you some insights on how you can better position your offers when you are trying to sell online as well. Okay, then I'll record a video to answer that question because that was a, a really good question. And then I'll put a video here. Again, I will make it so it's the controls are on, no autoplay, and then I'll make the margins 30 as well. Okay, and I'll, I'll put the video here. Okay, now with the questions as well, what's important is you can actually switch them around. So I can actually make this question on the top or the bottom or however I want, whatever sequence I want, I can actually uh, switch them around. And I can continue to add more FAQs because they're gonna have the same style, basically, okay? Now let's just have a look at what it looks like again. I'm gonna refresh, let's get here. And you see that there is no spacing in them, right? Now, I actually kinda of like having spacing, personally. So I'm gonna add a little spacing like so. And then also, I like to have it a little bit rounded, personally. So I'll do, let's say, 10. Let's see how that looks like, refresh then it's way more clear, okay, this is a different question because I, I kind of like I kind of like having those spacing basically. So that's just my personal preference, okay? So this is the feature. I think I've shown you everything here. You could see here the FAQ padding. You can actually do different padding as well. So you see it's 15, 15, 15, uh, 15 and 20. Now, if I was to do, let's say um, 45, you will notice that the padding on the top is even bigger. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this so it's 20 across the board. That way it's spaced out from all directions, basically. OK, Actually, it's a bit much. I'll do 15. OK, so there you go. Um, and then you've got margins. Margins is more on the outside of it. So if I was to do 40, you'll see that it's a lot smaller, basically, but it's separating it from the outside. And then what's this padding? So let's say this one is 10. Let's make this 50. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the padding here and margins, right? And this is the margins from the outside. So do you see that this spacing right here is going to get really closer if I make this bigger, right? So this is what this part. So the margins control between here and here and the padding controls what's in here, okay? So I'm gonna make this 10, let's just say, all right? Now, why is that important? That's important because there is going to be a way to make this background different, basically. Yeah, let me let me show you what, why that makes a difference. I'm going to make this inside a row, for example, the FAQ inside a specific row, okay? Now, this row, I can actually make this background color, let's say, red, and you can see this is what it looks like. I'll make it this way, okay? Now, if I had this FAQ and the padding is going to be bigger, like so, that's what that looks like. That's why it makes a difference, the padding or the margins. Whereas if I was to do 50, it's going to be controlled from the outside, basically. Okay, so that's kind of the difference between the padding and the margins to kind of understand what's the what's the point, like, right? Um, so yeah, in my case, I'm not really going to worry about any of that stuff. I'm just going to close that. But again, it just shows you that this is customizable. So I'll, I'll give you another example. Let's just say I want the background color for this to be like so, right? And then on the FAQ, instead of the background color being this color, I can actually make it so it's just plain white, okay? And now when it's plain white, you see, it just gives a completely different look and feel to the FAQs. Let me show you, okay? Like so, right? Which actually looks kind of cool, right? So again, the point is it's, it's you can customize it however you want it, but you can play around with it to figure out what you like, what you don't like. I, I mean, I think this looks kind of cool to be honest. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep it this way. I might change it around, but you know, it's kind of cool to be able to customize things and make it a little bit different, okay? You can also make the entire page completely 
um, you know, with, with that background color. So you can scroll here and you can make that background color for the whole page like so, right? So again, that's another option. Like it's very, very customizable. You can pretty much do whatever you want uh, with this. And I just wanted to kind of give you the options. So that's about it. That's how you customize the FAQ element. Hope you got some value and inspiration about what you could do the FAQ for. I use the FAQ for different things. I use the FAQ for standard FAQ, but also I actually use it for modules and uh, lessons and things like that. So let me show you an example of that. So if you look at my affiliate marketing webinar funnel, you'll actually notice that here, when you go to the checkout page, you see that I have day one, day two, uh, sorry, day zero, day one, day two, and so on, basically kind of giving them insights of what they're gonna cover in those days. And when they open, it shows them what they're going to learn in those days as well. So I have it even when a challenge is covered that it opens up and I'm using the FAQ feature. So you don't really have to use it just for FAQs, you can use it for modules, you can use it for FAQs, you can use it for whatever you want. It's going to basically give that option of opening and closing. Uh, you know, that's kind of up to your imagination on how it can be used. So yeah, that's about it. If you're in my templates and guides membership, I will um, of course be including uh, a shareable link to those templates that I've created for myself. And then you can kind of play around with this and customize it as you see fit. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. And I'll speak to you soon. Somewhere around here, you'll see additional tutorials on system IO as well, where I'm going to talk about more things about how to use system IO effectively and efficiently and customize your website as you see fit. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.